Hello folks, thanks for click on this video. I have previously made this video for playing Xbox 360 games with Emu Deck, but lots of folks are still having issues with Emu Deck to make the game show up in the gaming mode. In today's video, we are going to abandon Emu Deck and run standalone Xenia emulator on the Steam Deck. Just let you know, the standalone Xenia will not have performance improvement over the Steam Deck way. With the standalone Xenia, we can still launch all the games from the gaming mode. Because there is no native Linux version of Xenia at current states, we are using the Windows version on the Steam Deck through Proton Experimental. Some games just can't emulate perfectly on the deck. Also, I will show how to fix the black screen issue on Gears of War 2 in the last section of this video. Even with the fix, the graphics still have some glitch, but I think this is playable and we can have average 40 to 45 FPS on this game. Without further delay, let's dive into this. To perform this guide, you will need to have a keyboard and mouse that can be connected with the Steam Deck. We need to use them at later of this video. Let's go to the GitHub website and download the Xenia Canary. Make sure you download the 8678 BEC version, which was released on March 13th. Or you can use 190CEF9 version, which was released on April 2nd. Just remember, only those two works with Steam Deck right now. I have put both links under my video description. Also, I have tested both versions and there is no performance improvement, so you can use either of them. So make sure you download the correct Xenia as I mentioned here. Then we can open it in the download folder and extract the zip file. Then we can delete the original zip file. Next, go to the Xenia Canary folder, select the .exe extension file and right click, then select Add to Steam. Click the browser button, then navigate to the Xenia Canary we just downloaded and select the .exe extension file, then click Open. Make sure the Xenia Canary is selected here. Then we can click Add Selected Programs button here. Next, click Library from the top. We will see the Xenia show up on the left side. Click on the Xenia, then move to the left side, click the gear icon, and select property. Under compatibility, check the box here. Then make sure you select Proton Experimental. We can close this window for now. Then double click on the play button and wait for 5 to 10 seconds. The Xenia should open up. Next, press the select button on the Steam Deck. You will get this error message and this is normal. Click OK, the Xenia will close automatically. Now we can close everything here. Next, go back to the Xenia Canary folder and double click to open the Xenia Canary configure file. In this file, go to line 209 and change GPU equal any to GPU equal Vulkan. and make sure you save the file before close it. Next, let's create a new folder and name it as ROMs. We will drop all the game ROM into this folder later on. The next folder we need is a patch file folder. This is optional, but most of the time by using the patch file, we can improve gaming performance. I have made a dedicated video for how to use the patch file so you can check it out from this video on the screen. We can go to this website and download the patch file from here. Then open it in the download folder and extract the file. And delete the original zip file from here. Then we will cut the patches folder into our Xenia Canary folder. As I said, this is optional. So if you don't want to use patch file, you can skip this patch folders creation here. At this point, we have created a solid Xenia emulator template folder. It covers everything we need to emulate Xbox 360 games. I suggest you to copy this folder into your desired location on your Steam Deck. 
I prefer to leave all my emulation games on the SD card, so I will copy this folder onto my SD card. I also prefer to create a new folder named as Xenier, so all the Xbox 316 emulation stuff will go inside this folder, and I will drop the Xenier Canary folder inside this folder too. Then select the Xenia Canary folder and right click on the mouse and select duplicate here. It will create a copy of original Xenia Canary folder. Then select the copy Xenia folder and create another duplicate here. Now we have three Xenia Canary folders here. Each Xbox 316 game will use one folder. So if you have 4 games, you should create 4 Xenia Canary copies here. I will use 3 games as demonstration in this video, so that's why I created 3 Xenia copies here. Now I will rename each folder into my game name. The first one will be Gears of War 2. Second one is Lost Odyssey. And the last one is Feeble 2. Now I have 3 folders for 3 games here. The next thing we need to do is adding game ROM into each folder. I will copy the game ROMs from my external hard drive into each game folder. So the game ROM should be copied into the ROM folder inside each game. Just wait for my external hard drive to load up. So here are all my Xbox 360 game ROMs. I will copy one ROM each time into the ROMs folder we previously created. After the ROM is copied over, then I suggest you to rename the ISO file into a short name. This will be easier for us to set up in the next step. So I will rename this ROM as Gears 2 here. Then I will repeat the same process for Lost Odyssey at Feeble 2. So basically, we are just moving the game ROM file into the ROMs folder, then rename it into a short name here. Now all my three games have ROMs inside each folder. The next step we need to do is bring the Xbox 360 games into the Steam Deck gaming mode, so we can launch the game from the gaming mode just like any Steam games. So go inside the game folder, then select Xenia Canary EXE file, and right click on your mouse and select duplicate here. Then rename this exe file as game name. And I will repeat the same process for the Lost Odyssey at Feeble 2. So here we are just duplicating the exe file and then renaming to the game name. After the renaming process is done, we can select the exe file and right click on your mouse, then select Add to Steam. Click browser here, then navigate to your game folder and select the game name exe file. Then click add selected program. The game should show up on the left side of your Steam. We will repeat the same process here for the rest of two games. Now we have all three game exe files are show up on the Steam and we can delete Xenia Canary exe file from here. Select one exe file then click the gear icon from left side, then select property. Under compatibility, check the box and select Proton Experimental. Then click on the shortcut. The next step is very critical. If you type anything wrong here, the game will fail to start from the gaming mode. Also, you have to use a keyboard to type anything in from here and a mouse to perform copy and paste function. Under the target, first we need to add the ISO file path. We can copy the path from the ROMs folder and paste into the target. Just make sure you put double space before the ISO file path. Also make sure you type in the ISO file name with the ISO extension here. Then double space here again. Type in double dash, then full screen. So this will basically allow the game to start with full screen. If you are confused here, please check out the format I listed on the screen with example. 
By doing this, we can start up the game from the gaming mode with full screen. We can close this window after it's done. I will quickly repeat the same thing for the rest of the two games. Now all three games are done, so I can switch back to the gaming mode. After back to the gaming mode, if we go to the library, all three games will show up here. We can start up the game from here now. Let's try out the Fable 2 first. So the game launched successfully. Now let's close this game and test the gear of War 2. The gears 2 starts up without any issues. Then I tested Lost Odyssey. All three games are working really well. The last thing we need to do is adding the artwork so the game will look better with correct image on the gaming mode. To add the game artwork, I highly suggest to use the Steam Grid DB, which is a Steam Deck plugin. This plugin will allow us to change any games or app artwork on the Steam Deck. It's very powerful. If you haven't had the Decky Loader installed on your Steam Deck, you can check out this video and have the Decky Loader installed first. Then you can go inside Decky Loader and install the Steam Grid DB plugin from here. Once it's installed, you don't have to set up anything for the Steam Grid DB. It's ready to use. We can just go to the game and click on the gear icon from here. Then you will see change artwork option show up on this list. Select that. If this is your first time to open up the Steam Grid DB plugin, it will take a while to load up. Once you have all the image load up, we can set up all different artwork from here. Usually we need to set up the capsule, white capsule, and hero. That's all we need to set up. Just pick any pictures that you like and apply to the game. Then if we go back to the game, all artworks has been applied. I will quickly use the Steam Grid DB and repeat the same process for the Lost Odyssey and Gears of War 2. Okay, now all three games have perfect artwork and they are ready to play. This is pretty much of how to play Xbox 360 games with the standalone Xenier emulator on the Steam Deck. The last thing I want to share here is to fix the Gears 2 black screen with only gunfire. If you start up the Gears 2 with Xenier on the Steam Deck by default, you will get this screen. All you can see is gunfire but nothing else. This issue can be fixed by copying game save files that were created on Windows PC to overwrite your current game save on the Steam Deck. And this fix will work for both Emil Deck and Standalone Xenia. This solution was provided by DRAM33 on this channel, and all credit goes to him. I would like to say a big thanks to him. So I have prepared this fix file for you. All you need to do is download this file and use this file to replace your current game save file under the content folder. Make sure you run the Gears 2 on your Steam Deck first, then copy this file I provided to overwrite your game save. Make sure you check the box Apply to All and click Overwrite. Then if we go back to the gaming mode and restart the game, everything should show up. The graphic is still not perfect at this point, but if we turn off everything inside the game patch file, the image will look way better and the performance will be around 30 to 45 FPS most of the time. I will not show how to modify the patch file here, since I have made a dedicated video for the patch file, you can check out this video from here. Even after the patch file is used, the graphic is still not perfect but it is playable at this condition. That's all for this video, hope this one helped you out. Die, good to see you. What are we looking at? Locust Street, follow me. Locust got some serious sex coming in here like this. I doubt it has anything to do with courage. 
They just don't realize they've been sent on a suicide run. Maybe they're just desperate. What do you mean? Maybe the light mass bomb hit them harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. Heads up, Delta. Some of these patients have rust luck. Okay, take position along these windows. I took the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Logos' presence in the hospital. I repeat, Logos are in the hospital. Yeah, well now we've got a power outage too. I'm on it. I'll keep you posted. Control out. Hold fire till they're right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. Most of those supplies are actually fuel tanks, Delta. Part of the ambush. Here they come. Get ready. Control! Where's the power? <laughs> 